Welcome to the virtual ceremony celebrating the graduating class of 2020 from Clyde Irwin High School. I'm Emily Willis and it has been my honor to serve as your student body president. Though the situation may look a little different than we had hoped, it is my pleasure to join you in celebrating our achievements. Welcome family, friends, community, and the graduating class of 2020. Thank you, Emily. Good morning. I'm Greg Bailey, principal and on behalf of the administration, faculty and staff of Clyde A. Irwin High School. It is my pleasure to welcome you to the 65th commencement exercise of Irwin High to honor our class of 2020. This is a great achievement for each of these young people. We appreciate that you've made the choice to join us in making this a special day for our seniors to remember. Ms. Emily Willis will now lead us in the Pledge of Allegiance she will then be followed by Miss Emily Sanders and Miss Allie Jones, who will be performing our national anthem. Please join me for the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Oh, say can you see So proudly we held at the twilight's last gleaming, whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight or the ramparts we watched were so Thank you, ladies. At this time, I would like to recognize our student speakers, Ms. Delaney Phelps, who will then be followed by Mr. Nate Worley. Hi, everybody. Um, I know that this is weird. This is super weird, but I'm happy to be talking to you guys, even if it is through screen. And I know that this isn't what any of us had pictured for ourselves. I, for one, had all these dreams of walking across the stage on a sunny day, of my family cheering for me in the stands, of hugging my friends and classmates when we finally got our diplomas. And that isn't happening, and it's hard. But now we're here together, sitting in our caps and gowns in our homes, and we're graduating. And that's what's important to remember, that much like High School Musical has always taught us, we are all in this together. I know that we have different feelings on the pandemic. I know that some of us want things to be different than they are now or things to stay the same. But what's important to remember is that if we are ever gonna get through this, we have to get through it together. And I know that's easier said than done. I know that in times like these, it is so much easier to see our differences rather than our similarities. But here's what I also know. And that's what we do best at Irwin. Love each other and show each other kindness despite our differences. I haven't always lived in Asheville. I moved around to a bunch of different schools until seventh grade when I came to Irwin Middle, and I was so sure that I would never make any friends. I figured everybody would have already met their people and there would be no room for me. 
I also remember my very first day walking into the cafeteria and going to sit down at my lunch table and seeing everyone talking and laughing with one another, even the people I wouldn't think would be friends. I remember how easy it was for me to sit down and join in. Whether you like it or not, the school that you go to shapes the person you are. The people you meet, the teachers who teach you, all of it makes you into the person that you are today. And I know I wouldn't be that person that I am today without Erwin, without our commitment to diversity, our love for our community, and our ability to always show one another compassion. And now we're here in the middle of a pandemic, graduating from high school. And coming together is more vital than it has ever been. This community belongs to all of us, not just some of us, not just one of us, all of us. And because of that, there are things that we owe to one another. Compassion, empathy, patience, kindness. And now more than ever, we need to show one another those things. Class of 2020, I know how hard it is to have our senior year in like this. It's so hard. But when future generations look back on this time, it's going to be the actions of the youth, of our generation, that they see. What comes of all of this is going to be shaped by us. And I know that that's scary. It's a huge responsibility. But we've got this. This school and the people here have taught us all the importance of community, of diversity, of loving one another. So I'm not worried. The future is a huge question mark. It always is. But I know that our class and the classes that come after us have the very best chance of anyone of making the world a better place after all of this, coronavirus or no coronavirus. And now as we graduate from high school, our time is really beginning. And the real question is, how are we going to use it? I know that that's a huge question. I don't know where I'm going to be, but here's what I do know. All of us are going to make something beautiful out of it. So get out there, class of 2020. Stay six feet apart, but get out there metaphorically. Go make a life for yourself. Make joy, make change, and remember what Erwin taught you. Compassion, empathy, diversity, love, and above all, remember that if we are ever going to move through this life successfully, no matter where we're going, we have to move through it together. Thank you. I miss high school. I miss making waffles in English class, going on hikes in environmental sciences, playing board games in calculus, building cardboard box houses in history, announcing the lunch menu at the beginning of every third period and then brushing to the cafeteria on mashed potato day, sharing the cupcakes that were baked in foods class with all of my friends, paper mache something random in art class, using the color printer in the library where I wasn't supposed to, and my favorite memories of all, hanging out with my friends after class to have conversations over fried chicken and french fries. All of these things made my adventure at Irwin High School special, and they made our journey together unique. I will always cherish the memories of sitting in the stands of the football stadium, huddled together with my friends in the student section, even through the coldest and rainiest of Friday nights. I will always remember the sound of the drumline playing every game day right after class. I will never forget the feeling of the entire student body cheering and laughing at the annual student versus teacher basketball game. These are experiences that no one can take away from us and that we will have for the rest of our lives. These memories have made us who we are and they've helped build our definitions of community and friendship and belonging. As much as I miss all of these wonderful things that made high school special, I know that we can't go back and we aren't meant to go back. My favorite author of all time, Dr. Seuss once said, don't cry because it's over, smile because it happened. I'll admit that I've shed a few tears over just wanting to walk the hallways of Irwin High School one more time and to get to say goodbye to all of the kind and amazing people that make up our community. But that loss is outweighed by the fun memories of painting sets for the school musical, 
going on a field trip every week just for the fun of it. Playing Super Smash Brothers in the library before school starts in the mornings. And running around the school conducting strange science experiments about dust particles. Our journey ended abruptly, but it ended for a purpose. It ended to teach all of us some important lessons about togetherness during distance, hope during hopelessness, and peace during times of extreme discomfort. I think that we're all going to come out of this situation enjoying the simpler things of life more. When it's safe, we won't take for granted the times that we get to go over to a friend's house to eat pizza, or the nights that we get to go watch a movie and eat ice cream, or the feeling of a crowd of people cheering on their homeschool basketball team. We're going to appreciate all of these things so much more, and I think that we'll make the small moments in life much more meaningful. But all that we can do now is look towards the exciting adventures of the future. We're all going off into college or the military or the workforce or into certificate and training programs. We all have a life after this that's filled with new challenges and new passions to explore. And we need to find hope in that. We need to find hope in the fact that our lives will move forward into new arenas, big and small, foreign and familiar. If we choose not to be defined by who we are today, but who we want to grow to become, I believe that we can change the world. We just need to believe in ourselves and believe in the dreams that we have for the future. And we need to fight hard for our dreams and try our best to make them a reality. And if we don't quite reach them, we'll know that we tried our hardest and that we were honest and that we played by the rules to get there. Irwin High School Class of 2020, we've accomplished some amazing things over the past four years. And I believe that we can accomplish whatever we set our minds to because we are warriors. Thank you, Delaney and Nate, that was great. Now I'd like to take a few minutes to address the Clyde A. Irwin graduating class of 2020 with some personal comments. I will start by expressing my sincere sorrow for what you have lost during your senior year as a result of the COVID-19 pandemic. While enjoying your final year of high school, you were blindsided by an event that no one alive today has ever witnessed. In what seemed like a matter of a few days, and almost without warning, your world was changed forever. Lost was the final third of your senior year, as well as your prom, yearbook signing, senior picnic, athletic events, band and choral performances and competitions, and just the daily connection of seeing each other at school. I found myself standing in our empty cafeteria some time ago. I remember thinking, this is not what we signed up for, but this is what we have. And then the question, how will we respond? Today, I want to both challenge and encourage you. We would all agree that these circumstances have not been fair or pleasant. You will also find that many aspects of life will not be fair. It is in those times, as is the case today, that you must make a choice. You can allow your circumstances to define and control you, or you can decide that you are much more than your circumstances. I urge you to take life's unexpected and unwelcome visitors such as this circumstance, and use it to grow as an individual. Many will not, and they will need positive, influential people to help them make it through challenging times. I urge you to be that person that they need. I'm reminded of a poem by Coach Lou Holtz called simply, The Builder. It reads as follows. 
I saw a group of men in my hometown. I saw a group of men tearing a building down. With a heave and a hoe and a mighty yell, they swung a beam and a sidewall fell. And I said to the foreman, are these men skilled? The type you'd hire if you wanted to build? And he laughed and said, why, no indeed. Common labor is all I need. For I can tear down in a day or two what it took a builder 10 years to do. And I thought to myself as I walked away, which of these roles am I going to play? Am I the type that constantly tears down as I make my way foolishly around? Or am am I the type that's trying to build with care in hopes that others will be glad that I'm there? Focus on what you've been blessed with and the opportunity that today affords you not on what has been lost. Never allow the what ifs or was of the past to cloud the what is or the what will be of your future. Today is a new day, a day that provides you with great opportunity and promise. Celebrate and make this day what it was always meant to be. Be proud of what you've accomplished. Be proud to be a warrior, but most of all, be ready to move on. This is a great day, but this is not the best of days. You should now move on and strive for those best days. John Maxwell states in his book, No Limits, that it's easier to let go of something if you're going to get something better. You don't let go just for the sake of letting go. You let go only because tomorrow looks better than yesterday. Thank you, class of 2020, for the great times and memories. And because of you, tomorrow looks better than yesterday. We wish each of you the best. Thank you. Now at this time, we will now recognize and honor the candidates of the class of 2020 for Clyde A. Irwin High School for graduation. Joining me is Mr. Isaac Rockoff. Thank you, Mr. Bailey. I am proud to announce the candidates for graduation. Please stand when your name is called. Marcellus Carvel Adams Garner. Natalie Aguilar. Tyler Cole Ainsworth. Karen Alaves Clavijo. Aiden Salvador Aldret, graduating with honors. Eduardo Antonio Amaya Martinez. Estefania Angeles Perez. Antonio Arias, graduating with highest honors. Cheyenne Elizabeth Armour. Demario Jamal Avery, graduating with honors. Jacob Cameron Bailey, graduating with honors. Kenneth Andrew Bailey. Ashley Elaine Baird. Candace Marie Banks. Jordan Alshea Banks. Omar 
Barbosa Rivera, graduating with honors. Tierney Essence Beck. Bailey Danielle Beeman, graduating with high honors. Peyton Avery Beeman, graduating with high honors. Yahir Dael Binuelo Paz, graduating with honors. Shelby Lynn Elizabeth Bohannon, graduating with honors. Brian Giovanni Bonilla Rodriguez. Isabel Bouchot, graduating with high honors. Zoe Jean Bradbury, graduating with honors. Tristan Brian Brank. Alia Brewer. Lindsay Ann Briegel, graduating with honors. Andrew Michael Brunton, graduating with high honors. Raekwon Tyreek Bryant. Gage Cameron Buckner. Peyton Marie Buckner. Devin Shea Bupp, graduating with honors. Gabriel James Burke. Jacob Ray Burnett. Grayson Patrick Calhoun, graduating with honors. Sarah Elizabeth Karen. Kivon Antonio Carson. Mauro Giovanni Castaneda Figueroa. Erica Yasmin Castaneda Vasquez. Jessica Clementina Castaneda Vasquez. Berenice Castillo. Heaven Ashley Chandler. Samuel Nicholas Chernu. Abigail Elizabeth Grace Clarkson. Chloe Lee Clay, graduating with honors. Madison Olivia Clifton, graduating with honors. Jacqueline Patrice Cole. Tyshawn Unique Collington. Chase Tanner Constance, graduating with high honors. Earl Jackson Korn. Stephanie Cruz Benitez. Dana Irreri Cuica Salgado. Aiden Michael Curcio with high honors. Alia Ertha Dabanka. Osvaldo Salvador Davia. 
Kevon Allen Dean. Jose Del Cid Folofo. Kerry Dwayne Dunbar Jr. graduating with honors. Karel Ari Edgerton. Tyler Jordan Evans. Alex Fafula. Emily Figueroa Iracuta, graduating with honors. Hannah Marie Flanagan. Bakari Seku Ford. Tanner Franklin. Haley Ann Frisbee. Tabitha Ann Frisbee, graduating with high honors. Alejandro Fuentes. Michaela Pearl Galtieri, graduating with honors. Alfredo Julian Garcia, graduating with honors. Austin Baker Garrett. Corbin Chandler Gates. John Michael Villorio Getman. Luis Enrique Godinez Carrasco. Anahi Gomez. Jocelyn Gomez Medrano, graduating with honors. Andrew Christopher Good. Brianna Grant. Haley Nicole Grant, graduating with honors. Iris Simone Gray, graduating with honors. Kelsian Keandre Green. Chloe Madison Griffin, graduating with highest honors. Kayla Guadalupe Guerrero Montiel, graduating with high honors. Mariela Guzman Correa. Jacob Tyler Heron. Sarah Elsie Hall. Moses De Prophet Waleo Helmling. Zebulon Bray Helton. Adrian Josue Hernandez. Armando Luis Hernandez. Daniel John Hicks. Zachary James Holland. Hannah Lauren Honeycutt, graduating with honors. Skylar Elise Honeycutt Ashworth, graduating with honors. Denzel Tyrese Howard. Kenzel Maurice Howard. Matthew Aaron Hudgens. James Edward Humphrey. 
Jamal Rashad Hunter. Devin Conley Hutchinson, graduating with honors. Traquel Hutchison. Jorge Antonio Ibarra Moreno. Bronson Lane Inman. Jaime Ariana Jimenez Mayor. Gabriel Jimenez Palomares, graduating with honors. Michelle Jimenez Quintero, graduating with high honors. Evelyn Jimenez Romero. John Virgilio Johnny. Jacob Daryl Johnson. Ali Grace Jones, graduating with highest honors. Amber Denise Jones. Taikim Keandre Jones. Haley Marie Justice. Austin Jeffrey Kiever, graduating with high honors. Braden Dade King. Madison Alexa Kunelis. Autumn Hope Lance, graduating with highest honors. Juan Jose Landaverde. Elizabeth Ann Lauter. Vivian Marie Lauren. Isabella Marie Lewis, graduating with honors. Malaysia K. Marie Lewis. Alexandria Lindsay. Jeremy Emmanuel Lanos. Jalen Shakur Lucas. Tyon Lamond Lucas. Seth Logan Lunsford. Maria Dalena Luzama. Juanita Macias, graduating with high honors. Carlos Alberto Marcelino Bello. Erwin Yael Martin Martinez, graduating with honors. Yahir Martin Porras. Eric Oliver Martinez. Jesus Martinez Maldonado. Gerson Ruben Martinez Vergara. Miko Masanke, graduating with high honors. Nathan Matthew Mayrand, graduating with honors. Diedrich Henry McKee. Jada Kishana McKinney, 
graduating with high honors. Thomas Dalton Ray McPeak. Kiesia Latte Mead. Alexandria Joyce Meadows, graduating with highest honors. Deneth Lise Mejia Perez. Lourdes Vanessa Melgar Mejia. Stephen Joshua Miller, graduating with honors. Welperson Mudong. Ellie Taxaporn Muntapong, graduating with highest honors. Tyler Lee Murphy. Annealy Lizeth Mario Sanchez. Karen Anai Navarro Montiel. Cheyenne Brooke Nettles, graduating with honors. Jackson Newcomer. Arisbeth Nunez Prieto. Jordan Colton O'Mary. Colby Jonathan O'Brien. Elizabeth Torres Offenberger. Melissa Orozco Perez. Fayana Marie Owens. Jordan Tyler Owens, graduating with highest honors. Alma Rosa Pahua. Larry Allen Parrish. Joshua Tyler Parton. Shamia Patino Alvarez. Christian Anthony Payne. Vicente Rodrigo Valdemar Peña. Victoria Elizabeth Penland. Andres Peregrina. Xander Cruz Perez Bridges. Lisbeth Perez Gonzalez, graduating with honors. Clemente Perez Tolentino. Delaney Lynn Phelps, graduating with highest honors. Lacey Jalen Antonio Pickens. Lauren Andrea Pipes, graduating with highest honors. Joshua Vincent Pitts. Jennifer Renee Powell, graduating with highest honors. Jacob Isaiah Prestwood. 
Marissa Marie Price. Romeo Priester. Antonio Lamont Priester, Jr. Jeanette Alexandra Kirizaka Romero. Dartea Danielle Ragland. Gabriel Scott Ramsey, graduating with honors. Jesse Lee Ripley. Kayla Marie Rash. Brian Dale Reese. Lillian Pearl Redman. David Reyna. Jesse Allen Rue, graduating with honors. Caleb Andrew Richards. Mason Cameron Rickard. Jacob Eliseo Roblero, graduating with honors. Jorge Alejandro Rojas Alvarez. Angela Romashuk, graduating with highest honors. David Omar Romero. Isaiah Ashton Romsdahl, graduating with high honors. Kaya Janaya Rose, graduating with high honors. Sarahi Salazar Espinoza, graduating with honors. Irvin Yahir Salazar Espinoza. Ashley Nicole Sam. Stinson Aristino Samuel. Jorge Luis Sanchez Correa. Johnny Efrain Sanchez Molina, graduating with honors. Avery Catherine Sanders. Emily Page Sanders, graduating with honors. Annabelle Elaine Schultz. Logan Daniel Scully, graduating with honors. Brad Jerome Shands. Brianna Danielle Short, graduating with honors. Kobe Alton Simmons. Benjamin McKinley Smith, graduating with honors. Diavion Charmaine Smith, graduating with honors. Elias Gray Snyder, graduating with honors. Cora Stoop. Vita Stupak, graduating with high honors. 
Jacob Donovan Summy. Samantha Catherine Surrett, graduating with honors. Taylor Jasmine Surrett. Diani Virginia Tate. Gage McCoy Taylor. Caleb Scott Tritle. Morgan Nicole Turner, graduating with honors. Olivia Kate Van Gilder, graduating with honors. Maria Balin Vargas Jimenez. Guadalupe Zane Vasquez. Brenda Vasquez Alvarado, graduating with high honors. Berenice Vera. Jocelyn Naomi Vilchis Alonso, graduating with honors. Zane Gabriel Walker. Abigail Madeline Ward, graduating with high honors. Wesley James Warren. Abigail Lee Watkins. Lawrence Isaac Weaver, graduating with honors. Aurora Leanne Welch. Natasha Brianne Wells. Jasmine Blair West. Sierra Rianne White. Kenneth Deshawn Wilkes. Mercedes Kimberly Wilkins. Jamonte Ahmad Williams, graduating with honors. Laney Claire Williams, graduating with high honors. Sean Patrick Williams. Alastasia Christiana Williams Rose. Emily Grace Willis, graduating with highest honors. Jaden Shy Wilson. Laren Renee Wilson. Hayden Christine Wood. Christian Robert Woody. Nate Coley Worley, graduating with highest honors. Jamie Ann Yiko Yamamura, graduating with high honors. Hannah Danielle Yelton. Again, congratulations. Mr. Bailey, I now present to you the candidates for graduation for the class of 2020. Thank you, Mr. Rockoff. Students, I know that you're with your friends and families this morning. So wherever you are, would the class of 2020 please rise? 
You may now move your tassels from right to left. And by the power vested in me by the state of North Carolina and the Buckham County Schools Board of Education, I now officially declare you graduates of Clyde A. Irwin High School. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you the Irwin High School class of 2020. Congratulations.